Hi all, this is Brightline at Web Summit. Web Summit is one of the largest technology conferences in the world and Brightline has been partnering with Web Summit for the past three years. And what we are about is about how do you move from idea to reality? And uh, we've been releasing not long ago, about two weeks ago, we released a transformation compass, Brightline Transformation Compass, that is meant to help organizations that are transforming do it successfully. Because for so long, so many organizations are struggling for transforming. About 70% of organizations are failing. And this compass has something very important. It is people-centered. So here at Web Summit, what we have here is a wall where we were asking people some questions that are deriving from a transformation compass. And we wanted to have people views regarding how transformation is happening in their organizations. So here we have three set of questions that we were asking. The first one was basically asking people if the transformation is shaped by customer needs and trends. So are people just transforming or are people transforming because actually there's a real need that is happening and they are looking at the trends that are out there. And as you can see from the answers, people could either say yes or no. You'll see that we actually went over, we, we had another flow of yes. People basically saying that in most of the cases in this situation, transformation actually is informed by customer need and by trends. Then we ask a second question, and that question was mainly about the strategy and vision are crisply articulated. Because what happens is if the, if the vision is not clear, then if there is no North Star, people don't know where to go, people are not clear about what is required. Okay, and then when you don't have that clarity, what happens is things don't happen. Things move in different directions. And here the answers were a bit divided. You have about maybe half, half uh, of the people are saying that yes, their, their strategy and vision are crisply articulated, and then you have the second part that are saying no. But what you see though also is that in the middle here, you have a series of people that responded that it's not yes, it's not no, they are uncertain. And this is something that the Brightland Transformation Compass is showing is critical. They need to be a very clear and sharp North Star. Then moving to the third question, we are asking after the transformation, will the employees be transformed during the change? You know, because most of the time when people talk about change, we, we say people are important, but what we say is people are not put at the center of that transformation. So someone come in, they say this is the vision for the organization, but besides that, there is no way of aligning people to that vision. And this is what the Brightland Transformation Compass is bringing as something distinguished. It is people-centered. So we have a transformation initiative, we have the vision that we want to achieve, but we need to align people with that. We need to see what is the need for the employees with respect to that transformation. And what we saw that was very nice was, of course, more than the, many more attendees are saying that uh, their employees are transformed as a result of a change. So in a nutshell, this is what we are doing here at uh, Web Summit. And of course, what we need to remember is transformation is not easy. Transformation requires effort. Transformation requires engagement. But it is possible because there are organizations that are successful are making it. Brightline Transformation Compass is available on our website, compass.brightline.org, where you can learn more. And it's available for download for free. Thank you for being with us at here at the Web Summit.